Hi VC, this is Bev here, Clark Vision, um, and this this is just an update video I'm going to do at the moment. Um, I kind of feel it's been a little while since I've done a video for some reason, um, but I don't I don't know maybe a couple of weeks or something. But uh, I thought I'm going to come on and do this update because I've I've got a bunch of records I've collected over the last uh, two or three weeks, um, and it's all vinyl. And a cassette. Um, I I'm going to do a CD one. I'm going to do that separate because I'm still waiting on a, a bunch of CDs coming in the mail. Um, and by the time I get through this little lot, you know, it could be about three hours long. <laughs> um, so I'll get that out of the way. Just now I've just been kind of busy. Um, a lot's going on at the moment uh, with other things, but uh, I'm trying to squeeze in as much music as I can where I can um, and speaking of which Dio in the background here um, been sampling that lately as in, uh, as also um, look up the rules because um, I am a, I'm a late to the party person on Dio I never really listened to him his solo work back in the day um, and I've heard hundreds of people rave about oh great 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 and Holy Diver um, appears to be one of the the top favourites um, so I've been kind of um, quite liking what I'm hearing I think it might grow on me these albums um, so uh, we'll uh, keep going with the deal thing at the moment I think um, slowly but surely but anyway at the risk of me babbling on and on and on. Um, I'll just get into my update uh, to show what I have found. So this kind of goes back about the last three or so weeks I think roughly. Um, the first one I picked up was a charity shop uh, find. Uh, Kings of the Sun. And it's in absolutely marvellous condition. There's a little bit of a hard bend in the the corner but nothing major um, but it's all very um, crisp and just, uh, I don't know why they've kind of got the the writing series it must just be a, a thing they did for some reason um, because the record comes out here so this was their self-titled debut um, from 1988 um, these guys are Australian I think from Sydney maybe um <clears throat> kind of australian hard rock kind of uh, a hint of AOR about them they're kind of i don't know something like maybe tesla perhaps that kind of thing and um, it came with the inner original inner with the lyrics and stuff and um they are on the rca label and um, so this is a uh, it's a German pressing, made in Germany it says. Um, so I spotted this at a charity shop and again in the condition it was in, you know, and I had heard of Kings of the Sun before, um, a kind of a bit of a blind guy to be honest. Um, I'd heard of them but wasn't really overly familiar with them. Um, I believe after this album was released they went on tour with Guns N' Roses on their Appetite for Destruction tour and apparently they were thrown off the tour um, because the one of the boys from this band, Kings of the Sun, um, said something, I don't, I don't know the details but apparently said stuff that wasn't overly complimentary of Guns N' Roses and accused them of um, kind of taking their image from Tattoo, uh, Rose Tattoo, the Australian band Rose Tattoo from back in the day and Axel Rose I guess threw his toys at the pram and that was that <laughs> but you know so I don't know but uh, I guess that got them a bit of publicity if their music didn't so but yeah so Kings of the Sun I've had a listen to this it's quite quite a good album it's pretty decent uh, just nice regular um, late 80s hard rock and then 
Uh, I went back onto Amazon and finally I thought I'm going to have to pull the trigger on this because um, it's still going at a very good price at the moment. Um, I finally got myself a vinyl issue of Live After Death. Um, it's, it's hovering about the £16 mark at the moment for this one and um, so I decided to grab it before it went up again. Um, there is still one or two Iron Maiden albums, the, the reissues on Amazon for decent prices at the moment. So, you know, um, there's not much to be said about this album except it's fantastic and it's, um, this is the 20... Uh, yeah, I can barely make it out. The 2014 reissue this one. So, and um, it came with the... Um, the same uh, reissue of the inner sleeve of, uh, I believe the original came with this kind of booklet featuring photos and uh, band info, stuff like that, um, which those of you who already have this will have seen this before, but um, this is my first ever owning this on uh, vinyl, so you know, um, you get sleeves with lyrics and pictures, the other one's the same. Um, it's just black vinyl and it's um, custom labels. Um, but uh, delighted to just have this because, well, it's Iron Maiden. Um, and this, as I say, this is, and I have this, uh, I picked up a promo CD of this, uh, an original from 85 fairly recently, you may have seen that a few videos ago, and um, <clears throat> so I now have it on uh, the two formats, um, because this this I hadn't really heard before and, until I got that CD recently, so um, I think this was Iron Maiden's first ever uh, live album out of their career, but um, great stuff, great artwork obviously. Uh, next one I wanted, um, I've had this album on CD for ages as well, um, and I, I was listening to it recently again and I, I just love it so much. Um, it's it's one of these albums, probably the 100% ones, 100 proof ones, where I love pretty much every song in it. So I decided I wanted to try and grab the vinyl, um, and it's uh, Eclipse, a Swedish hard rock. Uh, traditional melodic hard rock stuff, uh, Monumentum. This was their latest album which came out in 2017 and it's on Frontiers. Um, the track listing, I don't know how well you can make that out, but this is this is full of energy and um, just very guitar driven rock. Fabulous riffs, uh, the vocals are amazing, it's just, it gets you going, it really does. It's a gatefold sleeve with lots of glare, of course, um, so you've got the lyrics there. Interesting artwork on the inside as well. Um, and this uh, issue is a limited edition red vinyl, 180 gram, so it's looking nice and beautiful. Um, but yeah, I mean, honestly, if you've not checked out Eclipse and you just love your um, energetic hard rock, get in there and check them out. They're pretty decent. Very, very decent. Um, I absolutely adore this. So I'm really chuffed to get it on the record on the vinyl. So that was that one. I um, saw it going on eBay. Somebody, a reseller had it on eBay for a a decent price so that's where I got it from and then I was as I spend a lot of time browsing YouTube um, I was sampling this particular band as well uh, and I know a couple of people had mentioned this band before and I think uh, the other one that's uh, well known as well um, I know the Rock Scout is definitely a fan, and um, he's one of them that's shown it before. But I was sampling these guys, and I was blown away by what I was hearing. Again, it was just so 
good, you know, is, is this feel good, fist pumping, um, solid, melodic metal, um, great vocals, great guitars. What, what's different about this as well, I, um, I posted it on my Facebook page and, and, and I put dance metal and I thought, is there such a thing as dance metal? But just in the, the elements that they've um, put into the songs, you know, they, they start, one or two of them start off like a dance record and then the full blown guitars and stuff come on. And uh, I just thought it was kind of interesting how it was a bit different. Um, but uh, the, there's keyboards obviously in here as well, but the way that it's all infused between the keyboards and the guitars, job well done. I'm loving this. Um, I believe these guys are, uh, are they from Finland, Beast in Black? Uh, I know I've got them up somewhere. Yes, they are a Finnish band. Um, Helsinki, I believe, and it was a guitarist, um, Anton Cabanon. I don't know if I've pronounced his name right, but um, he formed Beast in Black after he left his previous band, um, Battle Beast, which is the other one I think um, people have mentioned before. Um, so I've got to check these guys out as well. But um, the guitarist went on to form Beast in Black, and this is their latest album, it's just out this year. From Hell With Love. I mean, I just love the artwork on these things as well. Um, so yeah, um, just really good um, modern heavy metal. It's a gatefold again as well, and this is a double LP. Um, you get a pretty smart picture of the, the band members here. Um, this guy here is from Greece, Yanis Papadopoulos, I think his name is. Um, take note of him because he'll be getting mentioned again. And um, you know, it's just standard black vinyl, but you've kind of got custom sleeve, uh, custom labels as well. And uh, yep, you get a lyric sheet with this as well. This is. I'm right, I'm thinking, yeah, this is Nuclear Blast, um, and here is the uh, very colourful um, lyric sheet and credits, but really good stuff. I was really chuffed to um, just, you know, stumble across them one evening um, and hit the play button on YouTube. It was really great. So. Chuffed to bits to help. I'll probably be going for the other one as well. Um, I've been recommended to get that. Um, next up, uh, so the postman came today, <coughs> delivered the last of uh, what I had coming in, um, and I saw this on eBay recently, fairly cheaply, because um, after picking up their debut album, which I found in a charity shop, I don't know, a month or so ago, um, for two pound. Um, I had no idea what they were going to sound like, no clue whatsoever, hadn't even heard of them before. And I just picked it up because it looked kind of heavy metal. Um, so it was Zed Yago or Zed Yago, uh, German heavy metal band and this is their second album, Pilgrimage, and I know recently Cloudy Milder showed this, which caught me looking. I thought oh, I'm just going to go and have a look. So I went on eBay and there's a couple of issues and this one was at quite a decent price and it's it's lovely and shiny although I have given it a wipe down just to, to freshen it up but it's in uh, pretty good condition. Um, the seller did say there was a couple of staple holes <coughs> on it. I think it has been stapled. I'm not sure if it had been stapled um, opened because it is a gatefold sleeve. I don't know if that was how they person had it stated before but thankfully um, there's a couple of marks there and uh, you can't really notice them unless you look closely um, so I'm pretty happy with that uh, and for the price you know um, it was under a tenor delivered so I thought oh, I'm pretty happy with that and this is 
1988. Um, I think the first album was 1988 as well, uh, From Over Yonder. Um, but um, I really quite enjoyed what I what I was hearing on uh, From Over Yonder, so um, I thought, uh, yeah, I'm going to sample some more of them. And as I say, when Cloudy showed his uh, copy, I thought, yeah, I'm going to see what if it's available out there, and uh, it was. This is there on RCA, um, in our sleeve, <coughs> which is in fairly decent condition still. There's no splits or anything. That's the uh, band members. They do look a little bit on the freaky side. <laughs> I kind of look a little bit on the gothic kind of side as well. Um, Cloudy Milder, um, I did like very much the way he described this band in his video when he showed them um, fairly recently. I thought his description was spot on. But don't ask me to to remind uh, to say what it was because I can't remember in detail. But um, yeah, he, he did describe it very kind of epic, um, heavy metal, a little bit maybe gothic or classical even sounding um, operatic sounds in the voice. She does have a very strong voice. Um, I don't know, did I say RCA? So, and again it's a German press and made in Germany this. Um, so yep, I haven't listened to it yet, but that'll be getting uh, put on very soon. Um, and the other packet, um, I ordered a, a couple more from Heil Roller Records that I was interested in and uh, the last one is um, Bandcamp. Uh, it was the first order I've ever done through Bandcamp but um, before that I ordered this band's, I believe this is their debut, Traveller, self-titled. Uh, these guys are Canadian, um, new wave of traditional heavy metal style. Um, <coughs> Gates of Hell Records. So, um, yeah, again, I was sampling this and I was quite liking what I heard on this as well. <coughs> uh, the record, it's just black vinyl and custom sleeve, a uh, custom label, beg your pardon, and they, they have a lyric sheet and it's it's very basic, there's not a lot to it, um, but it's, uh, it's all you're going to need at the moment. So that is Traveller, um, just put that back in. So again, um, uh, if you're not familiar with any of these bands, um, I reckon they're all worth giving a sample to. This one I also like the sound of, so I went out and uh, bought a copy of this, and this is Outlaw. And uh, this is their debut, Marauders. Take it out of here because of the it's a shiny sleeve, this one, whereas Traveller was a matte sleeve, but this is very glossy. Outlaw and Marauders. Um, these guys are another band from Finland. Uh, and this one is on High Roller Records. <coughs> and uh, of course High Roller usually do their stuff well. You get a nice thick card style um, inner sheet with the band info and uh, lyrics and credits and as per usual you get your high roller records list of what's on their label and this particular pressing happens to be also on um, very tangerine transparent orange um, I quite like the colour actually it's quite bright don't have too many orange records. Um, my Walls of Jericho is also an orange one um, from Halloween. So that is Outlaws Marauders and this again is um, really good new wave of traditional heavy metal. 
uh, melodic, kind of, yeah, kind of in the, a bit in the style of the new wave of British heavy metal, I think. Um, I haven't listened to all of it, but I've listened to enough um, and liked enough to make me obviously buy it. Um, so in the last one, um, this one, I think I probably ordered this ages I I ordered this on the 26th of June because I was I was starting to get a little bit concerned as to why it was taking so long and it's arrived today where uh, I think it was just countries and their customs malarkey or whatever um actually before I go to that I meant to see see with the outlaw one they had a deal on as well for uh, the cassette for a fiver um, or five euros um so just as a kind of a novelty, I decided to go and get the cassette as well. This will be f for fun. Um, so, you know, it's, it's on a, a black cassette basically. Um, and you also got a, a sticker and a pin badge for Outlaw as well. So, uh, yeah, I might just say that also came with the. Uh, Outlaw record, so that's pretty cool. And getting back to the last one here, this is the one I ordered through Bandcamp. Um, again, discovered these guys um, through YouTube, um, and uh, they had a link to their Bandcamp. I think you could order the CD of this maybe through Amazon. You could certainly order either the CD or the record, but it was quite expensive. I went to the Bandcamp. And they had so many of the record left and so many of the CD left. And um, I thought, no, I think I'll just get the, the record straight from here. So I did. And the band is Warrior Path. They are a band from Greece. And this is where the record came from. And I don't really know why it took so long. But uh, a bit over two weeks, to be honest. But who knows? Anyway, so um, this is another really uh, good sounding um, new wave of traditional heavy metal. Um, but I really, and you know, the artwork's pretty cool as well. On, on this, um, so this came in today, straight from them. <coughs> um, that's, that's a bit better. But yeah, um, pretty cool stuff. And it does have, I've got a a little bit of info up. Um, it's a project of Greek guitarist and composer Andreas Sinanoglu. Forgive me if I've said that wrong. It's a Greek name. And there's guest performers on it. Um, Bob Katz... Hang on, hang on. Bob Katsionis, I'm sorry if I've got that one as well. He is um, a guitarist and keyboard who is in Firewind. And uh, the vocals are done by Yanis Papadopoulos, which, who is the vocalist for Beast in Black. That's why I said you hear about him again later. Um, yeah, so it's uh, that is the uh, info sheet. That, I think that's Yanis. Papadopoulos there from East and Black. So he sings on this and um, this guy, guy's got an amazing voice. Um, so this is a band from Greece basically. That's your, your, your lyrics there and that's info. Um, so Andreas Sinanoglu again, uh, let's just say Andreas. He's acoustic and electric guitars. The guest musicians are Bob Katsionis, electric guitars, bass and keyboard. Yanis Papadopoulos, vocals. Dave Rundle, drums, and Christos, Christos Valentinos Petevis, he does the violin. So there's a violin in here as well. Um, yeah. But, um, and they're on Symmetric Records. Um, so. Just again, it's black vinyl um, and it comes in, uh, they have their custom labels as well, but um, really good stuff. I was very impressed with this as well. 
So that is um, my uh, latest updates. There's a lot of new bands in here. Um, <coughs> there's a few that are known, and um, I'm just I'm really thrilled. I put a lot of this uh, new music in, so um, I'm just kind of really enjoying listening to it. I'm really enjoying discovering loads and loads of bands out there. There seems to be such a load of bands um, out there. Um, okay, they're not all wonderful as usually is the case, but there is a lot of stuff out there that I'm finding I'm liking, which is fantastic. Um, but yeah, I do urge you to check out all these bands. You might not like them all, but um, you never know, you just might. So, um, and that's that for the moment. I'm going to leave it there. Um, pretty cool having a cassette again. I do have a few cassettes, obviously. I meant to say also the Traveller one comes with a, also a download code from Bandcamp as well. Because um, I think they're on Bandcamp as well. Um, but yeah, I'll leave it at that just now and uh, maybe <coughs> by the end of the week or something um, I'll, I'll do this CD update and um, I'll hopefully get back with one or two other videos uh, fairly soon as well. So take care everybody and thanks for watching. Bye just now.